Hello everyone. Good to see you this Sunday school hour. I'm here. I'm Pastor Jason, the associate pastor of the Wellington Free Will Baptist Church, and this is Dave Gaston, adult Sunday school teacher and also a trustee here at the church. And we're glad to be able to go through this Sunday school hour with you. And I thought I would open in prayer. And Dave's picked out a lesson, and I thought we might just banter back and forth like we did before. And uh, we have uh, Andrew and Carrie, I believe, will be doing Sunday school next week. So be sure and tune in. We're going to try to have someone every Sunday. It's a Sunday school hour time at 10 o'clock. So you can tune in and watch someone for Sunday school. Never know who it'll be, but there'll be somebody. And uh, we're going to do our best to bless you during this time. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. God, we thank you for an opportunity to come here. God, I don't take it lightly. I count it an honor to be able to speak your word and be able to absorb your word and be able to teach your word. So God, I pray that you give us grace today. Watch over and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm believing we're going to be back in church in May. Yeah. I believe we're going to be back congregating. That's just what I'm believing. Of course, I'm not uh, in charge of that. Mm -hmm. But I'm believing we'll be back congregating and assembling back together and worshiping the Lord. I picked out uh, the book of Romans, chapter 8. Jason tells me that's the 8th chapter of Romans is your favorite passage. I, I warned you ahead of time, so I'm going to try to throttle back here, but that's one of my favorite chapters. It is my New Testament favorite chapter. Yep. Well, I like Romans 6, 7, and 8, but uh, there's just two verses, and we can go more than two, but the first two verses I want to look at, uh, the, the, these two verses here, I'm not good on memory anymore, but I do have these memorized. Praise the Lord. Yeah, got them memorized. It says in Romans chapter 8, there is therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. And I'd like to stop right there and just say from a personal testimony that as a young man, I'm talking uh, 12, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old, uh, I, was, I was taken to church and uh, I responded to the what we would call an invitation altar call we call them altar calls invitation and i was baptized three different times mm. uh, and i would try and i would make an effort but still what it's talking about the con condemnation here jason i believe means guilt mm -hmm. there is therefore no condemnation to those which are in Christ Jesus. And I still, after I was baptized, even after I would I would go and be baptized, I would I would still feel guilty and I would still guilty over my past sin. Mm -hmm. And I would continue to sin. Mm -hmm. Continue to have problems with sin, continue to lie, continue to steal, continue to just do basically all those things you do when you're a sinner. Sure. But when I finally met Christ, when I come to Christ, and I would like, I was thinking about new converts. Brad spoke about new converts last week. But there's no condemnation. There's no guilt to someone who has truly come to Christ mm -hmm. because the, the old song says the old account has been settled. Mm -hmm. We're forgiven. And once I came to know Christ, I... Had, I didn't have that guilt anymore. Mm -hmm. But you see, I was being baptized into water. I wasn't being baptized into Christ. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My faith was placed in water baptism, in, in, in an act, an, an outward act, if you will. And, and I believe in water baptism. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I don't believe in water baptism. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying I had never met Christ. I had never met the Savior. Mm -hmm. So guilt was not removed mm -hmm. because it says there is no condemnation, no guilt to them who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I believe what this means, it's talking here about the who walk not after the, the who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit talks about once we come to Christ, the great temptation in my mind and what I think, is for us to revert back to our self-efforts, mm -hmm. to stop looking to the cross. Paul mm -hmm. said, I say to know nothing among you but Jesus Christ and him crucified. Sure. And see, 
That's God's prescribed order, if you will. It's mm-hmm. his prescription for sin was mm-hmm. Jesus Christ and him crucified. Mm-hmm. And that was sat, that was settled and that was settled in the eternity's past, if you will. Sure. By God the Father, God the Son, mm-hmm. and God the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. And it's just like today, if someone said, we have the 100% for sure, the cure for COVID-19, we would be very interested in that, mm-hmm. wouldn't we? Yeah. We would want to talk to them. Mm-hmm. But in the Bible, the answer to all sin and to all problems were addressed at the cross. Mm-hmm. And it was settled, that was settled before the foundation of the world. Mm-hmm. First Peter tells us that that was settled. Mm-hmm. So I, you know, I look at this, and then we're going to look at two laws here, and they're the two most powerful laws in the universe. Mm-hmm. And these, well, and, and before you go, you said guilt, and I like to use the word guilt's good, mm-hmm. but I like to use the word shame mm-hmm. because. And I looked it up, and I have a, a Greek Hebrew study Bible, mm-hmm. and I just looked up what it said, and it says, you know, to adverse sentence, condemnation, or it also says to sentence, condemn, or to damn. That's mm-hmm. what it says. Mm-hmm. So condemning mm-hmm. and condemnation, the word condemn and guilt, you know, we all have dealt with guilt, but, yes. but guilt, guilt, you know, it's, it's, and I'm, and I'm not trying to interrupt you, but I think it's worth pausing mm-hmm. to say that shame mm-hmm. is when you identify, I say this, you know, uh, Dylan even mentioned it the other night, but that when someone says you are a bad person and there's no hope mm-hmm. instead of you've done something bad. Mm-hmm. You know, it's one thing to do something bad, but it's another thing when you are bad enough, there's no hope and you're just condemned yes. to die, condemned to hell. Mm-hmm. That's what, then that's the condemnation this is talking about that. And that's where we get caught in that mm-hmm. trap of sin. Like you mm-hmm. said, you were a young man, 12, 13 years old mm-hmm. and you'd feel bad. And so you'd sin. Well, it'd lead you right back to sin because mm-hmm. if you, the Bible says, so man thinks in his heart, so is he, the psalmist said. Mm-hmm. So if we think in our heart that we're just condemned and there's no hope, we're going to act just like a loser, mm-hmm. really like mm-hmm. a wall lost person mm-hmm. like like a person with no hope mm-hmm. and that's what that condemnation or and some mm-hmm. people say guilt but i like to use the word shame or toxic shame mm-hmm. that's something you have to be careful with that we don't identify with that with that old we have a new nature now Behold, yeah. old things are passed away. Mm-hmm. All things become new. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to live under that sentence of death. And mm-hmm. Paul's Paul's addressing that. Yes. And, when he, and when he gets here, I know me and you love mm-hmm. Romans 6, 7, 8. Oh, yeah. Whenever I first got saved, you discipled me a lot. Mm-hmm. And, and you told me, you said, you know, a lot of Romans 6 and 7 is the way to live through the cross and, and to be free from sin. Mm-hmm. But when he started in the first verse, he said, there is therefore. Mm-hmm. And I had a I had a guy tell me, Dave, that every time you see the word therefore, you got to ask yourself, what's it there for? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and it's there because it's speaking of something they've been. So the foundation, and then I'm going to let you go back mm-hmm. on. The foundation is what he's been telling us in Romans chapter six and seven in context, because mm-hmm. he's saying, now that I've established, we have a sin nature and shall we continue in sin? Grace may abound. God forbid. We can't mm-hmm. continue in sin and keep doing the same thing. We cannot continue mm-hmm. being controlled by sin. That's mm-hmm. what he's saying. Mm-hmm. But he says, therefore, since we've established that, let's move on to the believer and to the Romans where Paul's writing. Mm-hmm. He's saying this, therefore, move into no condemnation. Mm-hmm. So go ahead. But I think you, it's, you, you spurred the thought in my mind. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. You said, but see, the sin nature in us isn't dead. Right. We are dead to the sin nature. Yes. By faith in Christ. You mean to tell me done. I still got to deal with that rotten, sneaking flesh? We do. Yeah, we do. We do. And see, that that's one of the things I'd like to talk with new converts. And as a new Christian, I struggled with this a bunch. I struggled with it a lot because I would, I still struggled with things, you know, my temper, with bad language, with things after I came to know the Lord. And, mm-hmm. I, would, and I would feel guilt and I would feel shame. Mm-hmm. And I would go to the Lord and ask for, for forgiveness. And you know what he would do? He was faithful and just. To forgive you. And cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I didn't understand. But what I had done and what, we, what, it, what is very normal for a person to do is to revert back to self-effort and stop looking exclusively to Christ and what he's done mm-hmm. to help us. Because that's what we looked for for salvation. 
-hmm. When we want to have victory over sin, we look to what Christ has done for us. Mm -hmm. That's where the help of the Holy Spirit comes from. Yeah, which is where it, we're going. It, we wouldn't have been saved without the drawing and the mm -hmm. conviction of the Holy Spirit. That's how he helps us. It's a supernatural work. It is. It's, it's not a, a natural. The natural man cannot understand the things of God. And the, and the, man and the seventh chapter of Romans where Paul says, I do the things I don't want to do. And, I, you know, he, he, was, he was having that war with inside himself. Yeah, well, verse 24 in mm -hmm. chapter 7 says, O wretched men that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? Mm -hmm. But then we leave it there, but mm -hmm. then go ahead. Yep. Then verse 25, what's yep. it say? Yep. Yeah, I thank God through Jesus yes. Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Yeah. But... And he was, and he was a frustrated man at that point, and and that is something that new Christians need to, uh, you know, you need to understand. His flesh was frustrated. A a absolutely, yes. he was frustrated because he was still doing things and maybe having thoughts I don't know, mm -hmm. doing things he didn't want to do, and he was still dealing with that old sin nature. Mm -hmm. See, and and like I said earlier, we are the sin nature inside of of us isn't dead we're dead to the sin nature and as we look to christ and what he's provided for us it mm -hmm. it can and should and will we have been provided a way for it to stay completely dormant sure in our lives yeah but now i'm not saying i've, I've you accomplished it 100 percent you're doing it. <laughs> here no, we go no. don't don't follow me around <laughs> But but but, it, but but Paul, when he talks about the inner man yes. being the spiritual man, mm -hmm. the outer man being the fleshful man, I, I remember I told Rick Falk after I first got saved, we was in prayer meeting on Tuesday night, and I said, Rick, and hopefully Rick is watching, I said, it feels like I'm worn, my, it's just mm -hmm. tearing me apart, my, mm -hmm. I want to do one thing, but then the other party wants to do another, it's like my flesh is, is yeah. fighting with my spirit, is that happening? Mm -hmm. He said, well, that's the Bible, brother, and I was uh -huh. like, really? And I didn't know that, yeah. but my flesh was worn with my my spirit and that's so important for a new believer and old believers too mm -hmm. but a new believer because i think that's where they give up mm -hmm. they fall under that 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 they believe well i failed made a mistake so they give up on god mm -hmm. when there's grace there for that mm -hmm. someone the other day mentioned about something about somebody that i know and they just started serving god mm -hmm. you know three or four months ago and i said oh you know i said you know i, I believe it straight and i believe it right and i'm, I'm so right wing i won't sit on the left side of an airplane i mean i believe it straight <laughs> yes but at the same time i said that that person's been serving God for a few months. Mm -hmm. I hope after 15 years, how long, Dave? 18 mm -hmm. years for this last yep. time after about you got nine, right? About 19 years this year. 19 yes. years. Uh -huh. I mm -hmm. hope that you're not where mm -hmm. you were after oh, no. you were, say, four months. Oh, no. You were battling some things, mm -hmm. but you still got to battle it. Mm -hmm. But it's become more dormant. Mm -hmm. It's there, and mm -hmm. it can rise up. You know, I, t I, t I call that the, uh, oh, uh, Brother Crow calls that the old redneck, you know, that he's got to keep yes. subjected to. Yes. Well, I call it sometimes the old oil field hand. Yeah. You got to try to keep it. But the bottom line is Paul learned mm -hmm. there was still that battle there. Mm -hmm. As he as he was moving mm -hmm. forward into that 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 war mm -hmm. against the flesh and the spirit. Yes. But how, but how, but, but to move, go ahead. You better, I'd like to say better. this in the way of a testimony. I just thought back mm -hmm. whenever I got off drinking alcohol and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know stopped you know for the first for the first year or so your body wants a drink and your you know the enzymes in your liver are craving a drink and that's what you've gone used to and that's how you calm yourself mm -hmm. I would have sometimes trying to just deal with life I would have temper outbreaks and say foul language sometimes twice a day i would throw and break phones mm -hmm. i would just and I, and I would feel so low mm -hmm. and so bad mm -hmm. and i would have to apologize to my family i would have to apologize to the lord and mm -hmm. say i was sorry but he had so much grace mm -hmm. a friend of mine says grace is divine influence on the heart yeah he had so much influence on me, mm -hmm. and he was faithful and just. And shall we continue in sin that grace uh, may abound? God forbid. No, we're not talking about, mm -hmm. I'm not talking or preaching here or somebody being able to go out and live the way they want to. I'm talking about the war within man. The death of the flesh is a very ugly and difficult thing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we 
like to outwardly portray that everything's okay. But in Exodus, if you'd look back, when they, when they would sacrifice Jason the little lamb, mm-hmm. the thing that they would do before, after they sacrificed the little lamb is they would take the skin off the little lamb Mm-hmm. They would go inside and get the literally the inside mm-hmm. of it out, and they would burn it. And I believe God was showing man by that that man doesn't have a surface problem. Mm-hmm. Man has a heart, heart an inward problem. Mm-hmm. That was the picture he was painting for us. Sure. And buddy, I'm telling you, I have had so much grace, and I don't want to see people quit. Mm-hmm. They may struggle with their temper. They mm-hmm. may struggle with different things, and I don't want to name them, just to get. I don't want to give the devil mm-hmm. credit, but mm-hmm. they may struggle. Mm-hmm. But don't give up. There is no mm-hmm. place to go back to. No, because this is it's, what it says. The Bible says it's like mm-hmm. a dog going back to his mm-hmm. vomit. Mm-hmm. That's what it says in Proverbs. Yeah. When we go back to our sin, mm-hmm. it's like a dog. How gross and how terrible that would be. Mm-hmm. He goes back and eats his own vomit. Mm-hmm. That's what it is to go back to sin. Now listen, but there's grace like you spoke of. Mm-hmm. You you told me you used to pray by, to, to pray by liquor stores when mm-hmm. you were first saved. Sure, absolutely. You know, yeah, for months. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for months. Yeah, and 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 that's the that's the thing I want to get to. You know, some of us old heads, some of us that's been here a long time. Listen, there's still things that the Lord's cleaning up in my life. Mm-hmm. There's still things that God's cleaning up. In every person that's a Christian's sure. life, He's going to be working in us sure. until we pass away or till mm-hmm. we go. And He's going to—it's called sanctification. Mm-hmm. He's setting us apart. But it, but it, when you, you know, that condemnation, that shame, mm-hmm. we fall. You know what I've noticed about the flesh is the flesh wants to be appeased. Mm-hmm. It, like you said, when you take a drink, mm-hmm. I've heard people say, "I took a drink," and they just relaxed to me. Because mm-hmm. that's how you dealt with yeah. it. That's how you mm-hmm. self-medicated. Yes, that's sir. what you did. That's exactly but right. But the cross can give you the same thing. Absolutely. That's why I don't go back to the bottle because mm-hmm. I'm like, I can, through God, I can have that same relief, that same freedom. Because yes. we know, it's, uh, you know, uh, being not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that may also reap. I'm going to reap, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the wind which leads to a whirlwind yes. of a DUI and of mm-hmm. domestic violence and the loss of my family. But my point yes. is, is that when you deal with, with that on a basis, I, I, I get ahead of myself when I'm thinking about it. But the point is, is that the flesh, here's what I started to say. The flesh wants to be appeased. And then here's what gets me. When we fail, the flesh wants to be punished. Mm-hmm. It does. You think mm-hmm. about that. I thought about that the other day. You was talking about this lesson. It's like our we want to appease and, oh, we just want to relax, put our feet up, you know, kick back, not worry so much, not stress. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, when we mess up, the flesh will punish you. Mm-hmm. That old condemnation, mm-hmm. it works. I tell people this, if you want to get away from drugs and alcohol, whatever mm-hmm. it is, more than drugs and alcohol, but mm-hmm. that lifestyle, well, the first thing you need to do is realize that who the Son has set free is free mm-hmm. indeed. There's no condemnation because mm-hmm. it'll push you right back. Oh, well, if I'm that way, I'm that much of a loser, mm-hmm. I just will go twist off again. Yeah. I just will go do that again, mm-hmm. which is... It's crazy. It's like it plays both. The devil's yeah. the devil's advocate. Yeah. You know, he's a liar. Mm-hmm. And there is no truth. Jesus said there is no truth in him. Mm-hmm. And and the flesh came from the devil, from the mm-hmm. Garden of Eden. Sure that, did. that resides in us. And mm-hmm. so, and then, it, but but our my, our heart will deceive us, but mm-hmm. so will the flesh. Mm-hmm. Won't want it. Is that, mm-hmm. is that heavy? Or can I, you explain think, that a different I, way? I, I think that's true. Mm-hmm. You said something again. Uh, I'll, like, I'll quote Kelly Carter. Mm-hmm. I've got something for you. He yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got something for you in what you said. In this second verse, it says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Mm. See, the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus is the only law that is actually more powerful in the universe than the law of sin and death. And when you spoke, mm-hmm. I want to say something now that I've, I've said we... There is grace, there's divine influence, there's mm-hmm. mercy for those who come. Mm-hmm. But this is a law. It's no different than if we climbed up on this church building and we jumped off, mm-hmm. we're going to hurt ourselves. Yeah, it's a law. It's a law of gravity. Yeah. And I don't think we'd get any, a whole lot of people, mm-hmm. you know, we'd get about everybody to agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But the law of sin and death is a law. Mm-hmm. And if you think that you're going to continue in sin, mm-hmm. And you're going to continue in sin and not experience. And you say, what do you mean by death? 
Sin kills everything that it touches. The spirit. It kills the spirit. And, and, it kills life. And, and yes, sir. And what I believe, the body. and what I believe, and and uh, I'll say this: I have many great friends who are Calvinist that uh, believe that you can't ever fall from grace, lose your salvation, whatever they want to call it. But this is what I believe. This is Dave Gaston, not necessarily Free Will Baptist Church, mm -hmm. but if you keep on sinning and you keep on sinning, you will get to the place that you simply do not believe mm -hmm. in the work of the cross anymore. Mm -hmm. heart, your heart, your heart it, gets hard. It, that's what the it's book of Hebrews... That, yeah, that's, that's what, what happened to Pharaoh. That's what the book of Hebrews tells yeah. us that will happen. Mm -hmm. And when we sin and we sin and we sin, mm -hmm. we will eventually experience spiritual death. And, and, and you know what? It backs it up in the second part of that verse, mm -hmm. Dave, because you said there's no condemnation and you skip B, mm -hmm. but you're going, but you're saying yep, that. Yep. But then it says this, to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I was reading, I believe it was Matthew Henry, and he said this. He said, it's simple. Well, you know, we say, how do I walk after the spirit, not after the flesh? Mm -hmm. Well, it's simple. Jesus made the way to the cross. He showed us how to live the but he showed us how to live, mm -hmm. how to die to sin. Mm -hmm. He who he who became sin who knew no sin. But it's kind of like this. He made the path. We just got to try to stay on. Mm -hmm. And that sounds that I know that sounds carnal. I've mm -hmm. heard people tell me, Dave, oh, they're taken away from the power of God. Well, mm -hmm. he did show us way, a way to righteousness. But the way to sin leads to death. And I think about, about being controlled by sin. Mm -hmm. Now, I, now we all sin every day. Mm -hmm. But it says if you don't want condemnation, mm -hmm. what path are we on? You said, well, I was baptized a bunch of times. I felt bad. I continued sinning. Well, mm -hmm. there must be a part B to that. You mm -hmm. found a way through the cross to overcome sin, mm -hmm. the parts of sin, and not be controlled. I, you can follow me around. And like you said, mm -hmm. I don't want you to every second of the day, <laughs> I might make a mistake. I will make a mistake. But mm -hmm. I'll tell you this much this morning i got up and i opened my bible and i began to read one of the first things i did and i began to study that doesn't make me saved but it's what i do now mm -hmm. i tune in i know we, we people can't always go to church but i tune in i listen to bible studies regularly and that don't mean look at me look how good i am mm -hmm. but it does mean if you follow my checkbook you'll open it up and see that i'm not mm -hmm. given i don't have the liquor store on there mm -hmm. 10 times this week mm -hmm. i don't have other things on there and i don't go out and do things i, I imagine you had sins too mm -hmm. like me but you had mm -hmm. other ones well what you just spoke of is a law in the new testament it's the law of the mind yes and when you read the word of god and you trust in the finished work of christ and the leading of the holy spirit then Reading the word is the law of the mind. It washes the word, washes your mind. Mm -hmm, sure. that, that's why you read, because you want your mind washed. Yeah, and, and by while, the we, while we worship. By the word. Yeah, by it, the, the washing of the water by the word. It does. And, that, and that's mm -hmm. where I believe it's, it's two things. I mean, it, well, it's more than two. But the main things, Paul's dealing with the condemnation of the believer. Mm -hmm. So you're right. People give up and quit. Yes. And I'm mm -hmm. telling you, me and Dave sitting here, uh -huh. of, all, of all the people, I, I'm not going to throw stones at nobody. Mm -hmm. But then I see the other side, Dave. Mm -hmm. And that's and we're so careful, you know, sometimes. But that's where that's where we got to listen to the mm -hmm. Spirit when we're dealing with people. Yes. we got to say, okay, is this person falling under condemnation or shame yeah. and just guilt they can't get through? Mm -hmm. Or is this person, remember what Jesus did? He mm -hmm. wrote in the dirt to the woman caught in adultery. Mm -hmm. But then he looked at the religious people and thought they were religious. Remember, he said, "You think that what edifies the, you think what makes the body filthy is what enters a man, but it's not. But it's what comes out of a man." Mm -hmm. But he looked at their heart, mm -hmm. and for every person, it can be different. Mm -hmm. But I, but we, we see both things both ways, don't we? Mm -hmm. And I think Absolutely. that I think I think that 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 way, the walking not after the flesh, but after the spirit. I think in this society, it's getting more narrow, mm -hmm. don't you? Oh yeah. Now we're like, oh no, but you can do this. Oh, mm -hmm. you can do this. I've heard people say. Now, brother, if you're weak in that area, mm -hmm. we, we, we don't have to do this behavior around you. Then, mm -hmm. brother, I don't need to be hanging around yeah. those people. Yeah. I don't need to be around people that don't don't make me spiritually mm -hmm. want to, to serve the one, the what? The law of the spirit of life. Yeah. The law of the spirit of the, life. The law of the spirit of life. Well, and much of the modern church, and I'm thankful we're, we're not in a church that's that way, but much of the modern church has taken the word sin out of their vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't speak of sin. Mm -hmm. It's like what you said. Uh, but whenever you don't speak of sin, 
then there's no way, w way to end up at the cross. Yeah. Because the uh, sin is a biblical term, term and it is offensive. Mm -hmm. The cross is offensive. And what's that mean? Tell them the word sin. You, you give that illustration. Sin, sin is missing the mark. It's mm -hmm. an English term. Mm -hmm. It's literally like, you know, you back off and get ready to go deer hunting and you're shooting at your target and you miss the mark. Mm -hmm. And over in in the king's language, they would, you know, they, they literally missing the mark. They would shoot at a target. There was a bullseye. Mm -hmm. And you can imagine if you shot at that bullseye and you hit it every single time. That's mm -hmm. what the Lord Jesus Christ did. Yeah. He fulfilled the law. He never sinned. He never missed the mark. Mm -hmm. You could hit the mark 99 times out of 100, but you, 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 uh, when you miss the mark once, mm -hmm. then you've sinned. That's why all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. All have missed the mark. Mm -hmm. Everybody's in the same boat. Sure. And the answer is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has mm -hmm. made me free from the law of sin and death. And I can't mm -hmm. emphasize enough that this was, Christ was predestined. Peter tells us in 1 Peter that he was predestined to go to the cross. Mm -hmm. His mission was to go to the cross to die for the, for the sin of mankind. Sure. And that was decided before the foundation of the world. Now, mm -hmm. we do not believe you know, that all the people who were going to be saved, it was decided before the foundation of the world because it says, whosoever will shall come and drink of the water of life freely. Mm -hmm. Anybody can be saved. Sure. But we believe that the plan of God, mm -hmm. the plan was predestination. Sure. Christ was destined to go to the cross. Yeah. And that's what God decided. We didn't decide it. Mm -hmm. That's why we preach it and we proclaim it. Mm -hmm. And we tell people, and if you get something in your mind like going to church is going to make me right with God, mm -hmm. going and being baptized or being sprinkled or taking communion is going to make me right with God, and you miss the cross of Christ, mm -hmm. then you could miss heaven. Yeah. Yeah, or even being even people that don't have drugs and alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm a pretty good person. I yeah. deal with people strong. I'm oh, good yeah. to my family. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Let me tell you what he said. Paul said this. Uh, he said in Galatians, he said, "Oh, you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Mm -hmm. After you started after the yeah. Spirit, now mm -hmm. you've returned to the flesh. So mm -hmm. they've returned to their own justification. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a pretty good old boy. Now I don't have that much of a problem with that thing. You might, yeah. but I mean, tell you, they really pat themselves on the back and said, "Oh, now we're doing." So they were blending the the Jewish customs into their and saying now we don't need to we don't need to deal with repentance mm -hmm. so much mm -hmm. we're turning more to to penance mm -hmm. and penance is pain so I'm a good old boy I tip I've heard people I'm a big tipper well that that's impressive <laughs> but are you giving to the Lord yeah I mean I'm you can be a big tipper but you don't tip God you yeah. don't give to God and that and the thing is is that won't make you saved either mm -hmm. but the point is is we can never anything we do you said it we cannot start in thinking we are justified we're doing mm -hmm. a pretty good well, I, we have to wake up his mercies are new every day mm -hmm. but on the end of it when I do real good I still need the grace of mm -hmm. God when yeah, I don't absolutely. do so good I still need the grace of God yeah. so I, I like verse three can we, mm -hmm. are you done with verse two you bet well, go ahead verse three. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. And what he did was he destroyed the power of sin by giving his perfect body. Mm -hmm. He destroyed the power of sin. See, mm -hmm. sin, that's why sin, and it's through faith. Mm -hmm. Did you know, I was reading when I was studying this, in the Old Testament, the word faith is only used twice, mm -hmm. two times. But the word believe or belief is what was used. Mm -hmm. It said Abraham believed God, believed God mm -hmm. and it was counted to him for mm -hmm. righteousness sake. See, if we look to Christ and exclusively to Christ for our salvation, Mm -hmm. And for our walk and our sanctification, mm -hmm. we're guaranteed the help of the Holy Spirit because sure. it's going to bring humility in our lives. Mm -hmm. When we look at the cross and we compare ourselves to Christ, we're mm -hmm. going to be humbled. Yeah. But see, what happens to us is we get to wanting to think that we played some part in this. Mm -hmm. And see, the only thing that I believe spins in the economy of God is faith. Yeah. And faith that's a in good what way Christ has done mm -hmm. at the cross. The only way that spins in the economy of God, that's good. The only thing that will spend in the economy of God 
mm-hmm. is faith in Christ and what he's done for us at the cross. Sure. That's good. That's good. And, and verse, verse 4 says this, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. See, he, he, he's reiterating. Mm-hmm. He kind of, he, he's saying, he said that some in 6 and 7, but then he's saying again, the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after mm-hmm. the spirit. So he's still, you know, you know he, I, I like what he does. He's proven that he's saying there's no condemnation. If you have accepted Christ as your Savior Mm -hmm. and you have a repentance in your heart to change from that old nature, then God's not going to look at Mm -hmm. you and be ashamed Mm -hmm. of you and you shouldn't feel that way. Mm -hmm. But he keeps saying, what is our walk? It's a relationship. Mm -hmm. Put your hand in my hand, believer, and walk after me. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to the fishermen, he said, don't just keep fishing. He said, leave what you're doing and come Mm -hmm. after me. Mm -hmm. And it's a walk. Yes. It's hand in hand walk from the from glory to glory from the yeah. time we get saved. That's where I made Absolutely. a mistake as a young man. Mm-hmm. I was eleven years old, and here's what the preacher said: "You've heard it before." Mm-hmm. But I now he now I'm not saying this is what he said, but this is what the little boy heard. Yeah. Now now Jason, do you want to go to heaven or hell? Now I'm not very smart, mm-hmm. but I knew one thing: I liked <laughs> heaven a lot better than hell. Yeah. I mean, we'd see it. I mean, just for that, I think any most kids would answer, mm-hmm. and they would just say, "I'll go ahead and go to heaven." But there was no work in my heart, so. Mm-hmm. I prayed. And what I heard was, you've done it. Praise the Lord. And he tapped me and man, they baptized me. Mm-hmm. Now I never did. I, I remember I'd said this prayer, I said it once. I said it a thousand times, Lord, you're my Lord. You're my savior. Watch over and guide me. Amen. I didn't start reading the scripture. My mm-hmm. family, we was in a bad situation. We ended up having to go live with another family member with my grandparents at the mm-hmm. time. And we never went back to church, of course. Uh, at that time, my stepdad mm-hmm. they quit going to church, and and I. But it it, it was a thing that never t- it never took root. Mm-hmm. It, I never understood repentance. I never understood we need to continue walking mm-hmm. after Him. Mm-hmm. And I would I'd get in trouble and I'd pray, Lord, mm-hmm. please forgive me. But mm-hmm. I never walked hand in hand with Him, and that's that mm-hmm. path. Yes. That's this path after until I was twenty nine years old. Mm-hmm. I thought He's the answer. Mm-hmm. This little prayers I've been saying, and this one prayer I said at eleven years old in my opinion, did nothing. Mm -hmm. But when I gave my life to Christ, I turned from that sin. And what could Mm -hmm. I have done at 11 years old? Well, I could have done, there's a lot of sin at 11 years old. Grant Mm -hmm. said he saved, what, eight years old? Or was he six? Five years old. Five years old. A five-year-old can repent Mm -hmm. of sin if he understands Mm -hmm. it, if he's Mm -hmm. grown up in it. But Mm -hmm. all I I remembered hearing Mm -hmm. was say this prayer. But, so it's a walking after. Yes, sir. Uh, And one of the things I'd like to say, too, to that new Christian or to that person who is feeling guilty over sin, Mm -hmm. you always should feel guilty and you should always feel convicted when you sin and it's unconfessed. Mm. You must. When I throw the phone against the wall and I'd say dirty words or I'd throw a fit Mm -hmm. and had no self-control, it was healthy that I felt bad about that. Mm. But whenever I asked God to forgive me, I had to I had to rest in the fact that he had forgiven me. Mm-hmm. And that's what Pastor Zane says, if you have to ride the altar to heaven, when it, what he's mm-hmm. saying is, if you must continually confess, mm-hmm. I did wrong, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. And if you're genu- genuinely sorry in your heart, mm-hmm. he is there, he will forgive you. Mm-hmm. He will cleanse you, but we don't have to be controlled mm-hmm. by those things. I remember a guy asked me years ago, he said, Whenever I, you know, whenever I lust, should I ask forgiveness every time that I have a lust problem? And I mm-hmm. said, well, absolutely. Yeah, you're you right. You should just, just say, tell mm-hmm. God, please forgive me. I'm sorry, but you mm-hmm. don't have to be caught up in that. God will give you victory over that. Sure. He'll work it out with you. Uh, you know, but he, he wanted to know, should he ask forgiveness each time? Mm-hmm. Sure. Abs- absolutely. Sure. Well, well, and you said but, this. But, but I also told him. If I were you, I wouldn't be going out to the lake where all the ladies are in their swimming suits and I wouldn't be going by the swimming pool and I wouldn't be looking at the wrong things on the internet and I would, I would, you, you, you got to use common sense, stay away from those things that cause you to do that. Yes. And if you're not willing to do that, you know, when you parade around the liquor store, if there's a way to drive around it and not mm-hmm. have to go right by it, well, don't mm-hmm. open the temptation up for yourself. Yeah. Yep. But you need to say, every time you sin, yes. it all, all unconfessed sin stares in the face of God. Mm-hmm. And it must be dealt with. Yep. And what sin does is it separates us mm-hmm. from God. Every time. Sure. Fellowship. Mm-hmm. It separates and ultimately it can separate us 
eternally from God if yes. we continue to play with it. I believe that. I, I was looking at this, talking about not someone that walks in sin, but if you're feeling you know, condemned, if you're feeling shameful and you can't get past that, I had someone share with me here at the church just as I walked in, and they were saying how the devils told them that they had felt shameful and that they thought, well, the promises of God are for them, not for me. This person's been mm -hmm. trying, as far as I know, to serve God for years mm -hmm. and been doing well, I think. But mm -hmm. she said, this place in my life, the devils tried to... Make me feel bad and mm -hmm. shameful. And here's here's what it says. First uh, John, First uh, John three verse twenty says this: For if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our hearts and knows all things. Mm -hmm. And and what he's talking about there in John is that our heart does sometimes condemn us, and that's mm -hmm. what the no condemnation yes. thing's yeah. about. Because sometimes as a little child or as a young man or as a young lady, things have happened. And it seemed, I heard someone say this, I never can mm -hmm. get ahead. Every mm -hmm. I take one step forward and six steps back. That's how it happens. Well, the devil has put lies in our soul mm -hmm. and in our heart. Mm -hmm. And so then that's what this is for, to be mm -hmm. free from that condemnation. Because it says, if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our hearts and knows all things. Beloved, if our heart condemns us, then we have confidence toward God. Mm -hmm. What did Hebrews 4 says? Let us boldly come to the throne of yes. grace in that our, we, we will receive mercy in due time. It depends on the translation. In, 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 but we may receive mm -hmm. mercy in our time of need. Yes, sir. And that's what that's where we got to keep fighting the good fight of mm -hmm. faith. For if we do, man, I, I tell you, it, it witnesses with me. I, I would, I'd, feel, I'd feel like I can't wait to make it to church on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel so guilty because mm -hmm. I've messed up and... You know, I told someone where yeah. they could go today and out in the field. Yeah. Man, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'd drive around, I'd listen to preaching. They had yeah. CDs and I'd we'd burn them, yeah. remember? Yeah. And boy, I'd put one in that. I'd listen to three, yeah. this is no joke, three and four hours of sermons and driving. I'd be so, I'd be raising my hands, I'd be crying. Yeah. Oh, God, you're so good. Yeah. And I'd shut the pickup door and within 10 or 15 seconds, I blew it. <laughs> I opened my mouth. Because I had had those habits yeah. and what I did, and I've blew it today. Mm -hmm. But the, not today being today, but 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 through this week, I'm liable mm -hmm. to blow it. But you know mm -hmm. what? And I would think, well, all everything I did, I just took away. But that's not true. Mm -hmm. That God's seen that worship. God loved that worship. He loved that we listened to His mm -hmm. Word and that I spent time in His Absolutely. Word. But at the same time, I still had to say what you said. Yeah. God, please forgive me. Yeah. And then guess what I had to do? Yeah, I had to do a few days ago. I had to make a phone call and say, "Sir, I want to let you know I feel bad about that, and God dealt with my heart, and I'm sorry." Yeah. But boy, that's when the weight began to lift. Mm -hmm. Is when I just and I'll tell you what. Sometimes I think I do better because I'm tired of apologizing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. tired of them. I hate apologizing. Yeah. yeah. But I know the Lord will take yeah. me to the woodshed yeah. if I don't get and humble myself. Well, it brings humility. Oh, yeah. When you yeah. apologize, and, you, and the flesh you know, don't like you, it. You know. You know. I think. Uh, you, I hope I don't get this wrong. You, you help me if I do. But mm -hmm. I think of Peter, the Apostle Peter, mm -hmm. and I can't think of anyone that was that. Uh, you know, Jesus told him that uh, Simon, that that Satan wants to sift you. Yeah. And and Jesus allowed that, but and he denied the Lord three times. Mm -hmm. He did. But now when he appeared to Christ and they were out fishing and he and he knew that it was him up on the seashore. What did he do? Mm -hmm. What did he do? He jumped. Well, he jumped he, in the he water. He jumped out of the he, boat. Yeah, he put his See, clothes and, on. And, what did he and jump that, in that, the water? And, and that's the lie that the devil wants to tell us. Yeah, he wants to tell us that we're no good. Mm -hmm. We're condemned. He don't want anything to do with us anymore because mm -hmm. we failed. Yeah, and there's nothing further from the truth. And, and and what did he say to him when he got up there? He swam up there. He walked up and he said, "Peter, do you love me?" Mm -hmm. See, he, he knew he loved him, mm -hmm. and he knew he was in condemnation. Yes. But you know what? I, I, he got all them other people, hey, let's just go fishing. Can't uh -huh. do anything else. I've done yeah. failed God, and it's over. Yeah. But he, but when, and he, it was the resurrected Christ, wasn't mm -hmm. it? It sure yeah. was. Yeah. And when, it, when, it, when, he, when he went up to the seashore, he said, then if you love me, feed my lambs, feed my mm -hmm. sheep, feed my sheep three mm -hmm. times. As many times as he said that he denied him, yes. as many times he told him, to do, and you know what I loved about that? That um, you, you got me thinking. <laughs> what I love about that? I preached yeah. a whole sermon on that yeah. years ago. But uh, but what he said was, is he didn't deal with him and say, yeah, but you're no good. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, yeah, but you need to he get sure on your did. face. He and did. he didn't. He, he did. already knew his heart. 
Mm-hmm. He knew that he was condemned, yes. and he said, why yes. don't you go ahead and go and do what I've told you? It didn't change his mission, did it? It didn't. It didn't change no. it. And on it the day didn't. of Pentecost, he preached, and thousands mm-hmm. were saved. He's saying, okay, mm-hmm. we've moved because the cross dealt with it. Yes. Jesus dealt with his sin, yes. and the Bible says he'll cast it as far as from the east as from the west. And we always tell people, you go east forever, you never turn around west. Mm-hmm. You go north, it'll turn into south. South mm-hmm. will turn into north. But, it, we, but he knew that in his infinite mm-hmm. wisdom years ago. He knew, There wasn't compass you know they didn't mm-hmm. know they knew by the sun what time it was but mm-hmm. but in his infinite wisdom he says i cast as far as from the east is from the west but he looked mm-hmm. at peter and told him go do what i've called you to do mm-hmm. and friends that's what god would say to us today mm-hmm. i've called you to salvation mm-hmm. i've called you in what mm-hmm. this way to mm-hmm. walk after the spirit yeah that we push all that old sin behind us and all that old condemnation that shame that guilt the, the bad guilt mm-hmm. not conviction and he's not after our efforts no he's after our belief and looking to what he has done and he will lead us Mm -hmm. our flesh when we try Mm -hmm. you're not talking about your will like you're going to will your way over something he's Mm -hmm. not talking about that he's talking about you submitting your will to him Mm -hmm. and him being able to perform it Mm -hmm. because we what we've read about here today we can see paul Mm -hmm. we're not able to will ourselves into this thing Mm -hmm. we're able to submit ourselves and humble ourselves and say lord i can't do it without you i Mm -hmm. need you to help me and that's what the holy spirit's there for sure that's what he's there for is to help us now do i believe that we're just to to, you know uh, i heard one man say in and i heard one a commentator say i can't remember who it was he said the will is the trigger, but without being loaded with the power of the Holy Spirit, it is worthless. Yeah. The gun has to be loaded with the mm-hmm. power of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. The will yeah. is the trigger. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. That, that, that's yeah, I've, I've, heard, I've heard it said this way, because when you receive Christ, you get the Holy Spirit. Yes, The Bible sir. says if you have not Spirit of God, you're none of His. That's right. So at salvation, mm-hmm. the Spirit comes out. It may, we may not realize it. Mm-hmm. Again, revelation can happen. Hey, He does live inside of me. But, but I've heard it said this way, that your your mind, your soul, your mind, your will, and your emotions, emotions your mind, your will, and your mm-hmm. emotions have to agree to let God work. That's mm-hmm. the same way what you're saying. Mm-hmm. So i got to make a decision, okay, God, work through me. Yes. Okay, God, I'm going to do something mm-hmm. for you. That's the will part. Yes. But for him to do it through us, that's his part. Yes, sir. And, that, you know, and we do, and we, we have such a small part. But boy, when I was first saved, Dave, I thought, oh, oh, I got such a big part. Well, if I'd have just trusted in him and yeah. his grace and his love and mm-hmm. accepted who he says I was. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was saved the first day, I was close to God as far as saved as mm-hmm. I am now. I'm not any more saved than I was that first day. Mm-hmm. Not any more saved. Mm-hmm. But you know what? If I could have known that, God sees me not as I was, but who I was going to be. Mm-hmm. And in verse 5, I want to read this and then, yes, sir. then we'll quit. But I thought this was so good. For they that are after the flesh do my mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit and and he's just he's kind of going and of course the verse six that what i quoted for to be carly minded is death to be spiritually minded is life and peace but that you mind the things of the flesh mm-hmm. and I, my mm-hmm. challenge always gotta have a challenge it seems like that's a preacher in me but my thing is i would challenge people what is your mind on Mm -hmm. that we mind them that's what that Mm -hmm. word means do we mind the things of the flesh or the things of the spirit Mm -hmm. Uh, my meditation now i can't get medit i can't meditate on my worry i mean this whole economy it's hurt Mm -hmm. everyone Mm -hmm. that everyone's in the same boat Mm -hmm. we're hurting or i can't now i can worry i I have worried Mm -hmm. but i'll tell you what i can't spend my time worrying that i can change that that i can fix it hey we're in this mess god's gonna have to get us out of this Mm -hmm. mess that's Mm -hmm. all there is to it it's gonna have to be a miracle Mm -hmm. but you know what I, my mind has, I've got to push that aside and trust mm-hmm. in the grace of God and mm-hmm. say, God, you've got to do mm-hmm. this. This is the 10, uh, Reiner used to say, this is a 10 million person chess game that only you, that only God can play. Mm-hmm. We can't play it. And so my mind is on worship. My mind is on the word. My mind is on how to share Christ with people. My mind is the mind of an evangelist to be mm-hmm. able to share Christ and be able to live and witness for people. People said, well, why, why do you not do this certain sin? Why do you... Because, I mean, it's not a sin. You know, they try to use the Mm -hmm. Bible and say it's in the Bible. I say, you know Mm -hmm. what? 
the Paul said this, all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. Yeah. Not all things are profitable. Mm-hmm. And so I don't want to be doing things. My mind, you know, uh, one, one preacher said this. He said, uh, uh, is, a, is a man, uh, Dave is his first name, but mm-hmm. forget his last name. But anyway, he went to Vietnam and was in a mm-hmm. horrible accident. And that blew his face just about completely mm-hmm. off. He has a fake ear, fake hair, fake nose. And a reeser, I believe, mm-hmm. is his last name. And he said, I'll tell you what. He said, if you look into the darkness long enough, one day the darkness will look into you. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly my challenge to you mm-hmm. is to fix your mind on the things of God. Your mind, your 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 whole heart on the things mm-hmm. of God. That the, the heart is the mystical place between the spirit and then our soul. Mm-hmm. They're connected, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Really, the heart. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about the heart that pumps blood, but the heart of the person, your whole life. Fix it on and, and rest in the things of Christ. And and mm-hmm. on this and and where, where it's helped me overcome, Dave, I'm glad you picked this, is when I fix my mind on there's no condemnation, it frees mm-hmm. me up. It doesn't make me want to sin. It mm-hmm. makes me want to be a better kid. Mm-hmm. And the Heavenly Father's not screaming at me, walking around with a baseball bat, wanting to hit me with it because I mess up. Mm-hmm. But it frees me up to be the man of God that call, God's called me to be, mm-hmm. not to be something else. Mm-hmm. And, and just, and you know, and, and I'm sure in closing, before we go too long, mm-hmm. but... You know, uh, when we were saved, we looked at the cross and we looked and we saw a Savior. And with the faith that we had that we had been given by God, the faith that we placed in him, we saw that beautiful Savior that gave his perfect body Mm. and did what what we could not do. Mm -hmm. And as Christians, no matter how long you've lived for God, Mm -hmm. that's what sustains us today. Yeah. Our will and our efforts don't sustain us, but it's what he did on Calvary. Yeah. And that's God's order. That's the order that it's set in. And there's such peace in that. You, you know, you say, what do you mean? I'm just saying, yes, what part do I play in this? Mm-hmm. I truly believe it's belief and faith that it's going to be okay and that I'm just going to trust him. That's yeah. my great struggle that I yeah. have. That's true. That's my great struggle that I have, that it's going to be okay and just to trust him every day mm-hmm. for what he wants to do in my life. Amen. That's, all I, that's all I have. Pray for us today. God, thank you for this beautiful time. And thank you that there, we're not condemned, God. Yes, we don't have to you. feel guilt. The person that listened to this, Jason and I, our entire congregation, we don't have to feel guilt. We don't have to feel shame because of what Christ has done. Because, Lord, you know there's plenty of things that I could be shameful for. You know Mm -hmm. me. You know me inside and out. And there's many things that I could be shameful for. But I'm not ashamed because I've looked at you. And I've placed my faith in you to take away my sin, God, and to take away my trespasses where I've wronged people, where I've said things that are wrong, where I've lied or where I've done anything wrong, God. You have taken that away by your power, because of what you did at Calvary, when you shed your blood and God the Father accepted Jesus and you sat down at the right hand of him because it was a finished work. Amen. God, we thank you. God, thank you for this time we've had to discuss your word in Jesus' name. Amen.